Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Melody, and on this channel I like to discuss fragrances. Today I am sharing with you the first five fragrances I would repurchase if I had to start my fragrance collection all over again. So if that's something that interests you, please keep watching. I've seen this challenge on YouTube many times to think of five fragrances that you would repurchase immediately if you were to lose your entire collection and I wanted to try this and come up with five affordable fragrances if something happened to my whole fragrance collection and I didn't have much to start it up again what would be the first five fragrances I'd purchase and then I also considered what five fragrances would I purchase if money wasn't an issue um and I could just purchase whatever I wanted so I'll start by sharing some of the budget friendly or affordable fragrances and I have 10 here but I want to share ones that I think are similar and which ones I would recommend. So this can also be looked at as a bit of a recommendation if there are particular fragrances that I think would be better than others. I think that almost every fragrance collection should have at least one good vanilla fragrance in it. So I actually have two here. I originally thought vanilla bourbon, this is a $20 fragrance at Target and I really love this fragrance however it comes off very woody and for me this doesn't really feel like a year-round vanilla this is really a fall winter vanilla so I wanted something that was still affordable but that I thought would be a really good year-round vanilla and for me that's fresh cream warm cashmere this is like a warm hug or snuggling in a blanket it is vanilla but it's soft and just beautiful. I actually really love this one. For a time there, I was considering getting rid of it because I'm like, oh, how many vanillas do you need? Um, but this one is just so soft and just really beautiful. It's really cozy, but I think there's something about it. It can be worn year round very easy. And I think it'd probably be pretty good layering. I don't think I've layered this with anything, but I do think this would probably really work well layering with other fragrances. So since we're still in summer, I was thinking what kind of summer fragrance would I pick? First thought of Pepe Jeans. So I I don't do well with summer fragrances. So many of them are predominantly coconut and I find that a lot of coconut fragrances come off a little dill or pickly to me and the ones that aren't, there are a lot of tropical fruit and nearly all of those come off kind of um like bo on my skin so it's hard for me to find a fragrance that screams summer but doesn't have those notes in it and for me this one it still feels like summer to me but it doesn't have those notes it's predominantly almond i think there's like tangerine or something in here and it really is quite nice there's a marshmallow note but it does have some kind of summer vibe to me and i think you can pick up one of these bottles for 25 dollars. so i think this is a good pick now if i wasn't getting that i would probably get the soul cheeriosa but i wouldn't get this one i would get the body spray i've heard that they're identical and that the performance is pretty even between the two of these. Um, I've not smelled the spray myself. I happened to get this in one of the Sephora favorites discovery sets and so this is the one that I chose and I really love this fragrance. In fact, if I were to pick between these two, I might even consider getting just the body spray of this. It's $20 so they're really close. Honestly, in scent, they're very similar too. They're both nutty um, warm kind of summer fragrances. So either one I think I would pick, but obviously this would have to be the spray because I think this bottle is quite expensive. The next one I have is Girl of Now. This is also a nutty fragrance. I really love it, but for me it's a lot more gourmand and I really love it. However, this one's on the higher end as far as affordable fragrances. I think you can get the one ounce in the $60 range. So I don't know if that's really that affordable, but I really enjoy this fragrance. Another similar fragrance to me is the La Reef Fleur de Femme. Now this is a cheapie completely. It's like $10, I think, if you can find it on FragranceNet. It might be more elsewhere, but 
this is my second bottle i've already gone through a whole bottle this is like a cherry almond it's supposed to be a dupe of poison girl edp i think i've smelled that one time um i know it's being discontinued and i never considered buying it because i just love this one so much so if i have to choose between these two i'm gonna pick this one but i think these have some similarities to them and so these two were ones that i was considering but i definitely would pick this one next i was looking at something that's just a little fruity none of these are quite fruity fragrances they're rich or gourmand or a little nutty. I first picked Zara's Cherry Smoothie. This fragrance, while really lovely, isn't my favorite. I do actually have to layer this with something vanilla to kind of tampen down that um, tart cherry. Sometimes that's bothersome to me, but it's $20 and it is quite a nice zingy uplifting fragrance. However, something that I think I like more, and it's a little bit more expensive, but it still has like a fruity quality about it is Cacharel Yes I Am. This opens with raspberry, but it starts to get, like it opens very bright, um, but it has this richness and depth to it, and it, it's a little spicy. There's a lot going on. It's like tonic. I love this fragrance. Now, it's definitely a fall winter one, but I have like a summer scent. Um, this, I think, is year round. So this one, I think, this size bottles maybe it's a 1.7 i think this is in the 30 dollar range lastly i was considering rem this fragrance i love wearing to bed i think it's a beautiful warm cozy fragrance and that's my that's my preference for fragrances in fact when i was first looking for one fragrance that's what i was looking for i was looking for something that would just be warm cozy enveloping that would be comforting for my girls for me just something that i really loved and so this definitely feels like the fragrance. However, this fragrance, while I don't like it as much as this one, this one to me is something that I actually reach for more often because I think it's great for layering. I can layer this with just about anything and it works. So for me, I think this would actually be better in a small collection because you can mix it with other things and make different kinds of fragrances. So while I actually like this one a bit more, I find that this one is better for layering, and I think this would be a better pick. I guess if I were to just wrap it up, what I'd actually pick, I think I would go with Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. I think I would pick the body spray version of the Sol Cheeriosa. I'd pick Fleur de Femme, Cacherelle Yes I Am, and Ariana Grande's Cloud 2.0. Now I could also do the original cloud, but this one is my preference. However, if trying to get five fragrances for under $100, I think the best way of doing it would be to go with Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. You can get Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar for $20. Cherry Smoothie, also $20, so you're looking at $40 there. You can get Fleur de Femme, $10. So what, that's $50. I would probably go with a body spray of this. So that's another $20. So that's $70. You'll, you'd have to do a little hunting because on Ulta, Cloud 2.0 is $45 for the one ounce. But I've seen on many other places, the one ounce for going for like $25. I've even seen a gift set with the one ounce and something else for about 25. So if you can find that one, you could have Cloud, the Cheeriosa, the Cherry Smoothie, which I haven't mentioned, but a lot of people say it's a dupe for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I don't know if it is, but Vanilla Bourbon and Fleur de Femme for under $100. So I think that would be a great starter collection if you were just starting out getting like five fragrances. So that is my affordable starter perfume collection if I had to start over. So now, if money were no issue and I could just pick any fragrances that I wanted, I still was looking within my own collection because there are fragrances that are outside of my budget that I enjoy, but I haven't spent enough time with them for me to say whether they're a good pick or not. I do not honestly have some of my more expensive fragrances because like right here I have Italica, but that's just not something that I think I would start my collection with. I don't think that there's enough case uses for it. So I will begin with ones I've already discussed. So I had already mentioned I love REM. It's a great bedtime fragrance, just cozy, really comforting fragrance. But for me, I would still pick Ariana Grande's Cloud 2.0. It's great for layering. It's a great just 
you know, grab and go fragrance. You don't really have to think about it. So this is the fragrance, even though, you know, it's still an affordable fragrance. I think even, uh, with no budget, I would still probably pick this up. I understand that it's supposed to be a lot like Baccarat Rouge. I have smelled that a bunch of times. I even had a dupe of that to me on my skin. It just comes off woody. I don't get any of that sweetness and stuff. So I would stick with Cloud 2.0. And this is hard because these ones I picked similar ones, but I didn't really think through which one I would actually choose. I really enjoy Beyond Romance. I think it's a beautiful, I think of this as like my pink, pretty, very feminine, powdery scent. It is very sweet though. So this is one you have to really have a sweet tooth for. Something that I think vibe similar is Sea Fury. Um, I know this is discontinued and it's going to be harder and harder to get, but if, you know, money's no issue and you can just spend a ton to buy a discontinued fragrance over and over again, this is the one I'd pick. Um, it, it's like not as sweet, but it still has that powdery feminine quality to it. And it has just something that grounds it. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't like any of the other Sea Fury fragrances but this one I absolutely love and I find that it's just completely stunning and I'm so upset that it's discontinued. I honestly wouldn't have purchased it but then it, I heard it was discontinued and I really want to try it so I bought it and I figured if I didn't like it if it's discontinued I could probably sell it for a decent amount because it's discontinued but I fell in love with it unfortunately and it's discontinued but if money was no object this is the one that I would pick. Next I have Linter D Rouge. This fragrance I absolutely love. It is so stunning to me. It's spicy, it's warm, it's rich. And a similar way, I have Rouge Smoking. This one is hard for me. Um, I love this one just as much. And it does something to me. I just absolutely love this. Um, in a way that, like, maybe I don't get that same feeling with this one. But the performance on this one is just not great. Um, they are just so similar and the performance on the Linter D line is stellar. Even the EDT is amazing. So for me, this is where it gets hard. Like which one would I actually pick? It is so good. Okay. One last time. Okay. I think it might be Rouge Smoking. I think this one is similar enough to other Linter D's that maybe I wouldn't need this one. But this one's just so amazing. I would, you know, if money's not an object um, and I could just spend whatever, you know, I can top this off like two, three times in the day and I wouldn't have to worry and I could just buy another bottle. So for me, this one would have to be in my collection right away. So now to like a, a fresh spring summer scent. I have fallen in love with Linter D EDT. I wasn't sure if I would. Um, I wore it for a while. But there's something so beautiful about this. I swear there's pear in here. It doesn't say the pear anywhere, but I think there's pear in here. Um, you couldn't tell me there isn't. It's this crisp, watery pear. It's sweet. It's just so good. Um, however, a fragrance that I think is kind of similar. It's the same season. Marc Jacobs Perfect. I love this fragrance. This is my, probably my favorite fragrance. It feels like me on a bottle. It's kind of quirky. It's a little weird, but there's a freshness to it. There's like the zinginess from the rhubarb. I just love this fragrance. In the beginning, when I first got it, I didn't care for this cat, but you know, I think it's cute now. Um, so f these two, I think I'd probably have to choose this one. This is definitely one, but I am quickly falling in love with this. This has stellar performance for an EDT. I wore this to church and I could smell myself like all day. Um, there are so many fragrances that are EDPs that are strong that you start having to hunt for. And this one I never had to hunt for. This is such a beautiful fragrance. This one, it's performance is about four hours. I think I need to get the lotion or like a body oil or something. Cause this one, it just, it just doesn't cut it. But I love this fragrance. So lastly, this one's going to probably be the hardest. So this would probably be my everyday, um, kind of classy feminine scent. Um, for me, again, another Linder D. It's my favorite line. I don't think there's a line as good as this line. Um, amazing performance, just beautiful, stunning, super feminine, but it's strong. Like you have to be a strong woman to pull this fragrance off. I don't think and sometimes I'm that woman, but I think there's plenty of times where I'm not. But I love this fragrance. 
Something else that I have always said, this is a fragrance I want my girls to remember me by, is Mon Guerlain. Oh, see, this is hard. This was the last Lindry. <laughs> that I was like, one of them is going to make it into my top five. And it might not. See, I went through a little stint after pulling out the lotion for this one where it smelled a little bit like um, Carmex, like that lip stuff. And so I was like, ooh, but I kept trying. And I'm not getting that anymore. This smells so good. It smells elegant. It smells comforting from the vanilla, the lavender. It is like a warm hug from your mom. That's what this fragrance is. And I feel like this is me more than this. I love the Lindry line. Love it. I just, but sometimes you have to be like in that like a mood like this is something that you wear out when you feel powerful and strong and so for me I think I have to go with longer long which is breaking my heart that of the five I had three opportunities for a Lindry to get into my collection and it didn't that is a little heartbreaking <laughs> uh, it's a little silly but anyways money was no object I would have Mon Guerlain, Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0, Marc Jacobs Perfect, C Fiori, and Rouge Smoking. So that was just a fun experiment, seeing what fragrances I would first bring into my collection if I had to start my collection all over again. So I hope you've had fun watching this video, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.